Let's jump higher than Mario. And let's add a custom advanced block to Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in Intelligent once more. And in this ASMR tutorial, we're gonna... No, okay, but it's not gonna be an ASMR tutorial, so don't worry about it. We're gonna be adding a custom advanced block to Minecraft, and this is going to be very similar to the advanced item that we've added, but the advanced block, of course, will require a custom block class in this case. So in our block package, we're gonna right-click new package called custom, and then instead of there, we're gonna right-click new Java class, and this is going to be the jumpy block class. This will extend the block class over here, net minecraft block, there we go. Hover over this, create constructor matching super, and there we have our class. Once again, we're going to middle mouse button click on the block class to actually take a look at some of the methods that we can override, and there are even more than we can override in the item classes. We have we have even more stuff to override, so anything that is non-static basically, so there are some static methods, and then also as you can see, on destroyed by explosion, on stepped on, which is actually the one we're going to take a look at, after break, we have on placed, there's a bunch of different methods that we can override, and once again also we can press the control H to actually look at all of the different blocks as well, highly recommend that as well, however there are quite a few things in here that might be a little bit too advanced at the moment, mainly custom block states and the block states will be looked at in a later tutorial. Now here we only want to override the on stepped on method right here and what do we have to do here? So this is obviously called when a certain entity, this entity right here, basically steps on this block. What we want to do is then add the status effect of jump boost to this particular entity. And how do we do this? Well, first of all, we need to check whether or not the entity is actually a living entity because only living entities can have certain effects applied to them. So we're just going to get a new living entity here so we're just going to say hey is this particular entity that has just stepped on this block actually an instance of living entity and then we're casting that into a living entity immediately and then we can just say living entity dot add status effect making a new status effect instance here status effects that jump boost and then with a duration of 20 ticks in this case and that would be one second let's do 200 ticks so let's make it 10 seconds i think that's going to be fine and that is actually all that we need to do in this case now we're actually going to override another method and that is the on use method so just that if you've seen this because the on use method can be quite interesting so this is the method that gets called when a certain player right clicks this block and the only thing i want to do actually is i just want to say player dot send message text dot literal and we're just going to say write clicked this and we're going to see this in just a moment when we actually enter the game what this does because there's actually one interesting thing that happens here when we actually do this we're going to see that in minecraft i once again want to note to you that this is still gray meaning that we have not actually used this class because we still need to register our block so for this we're actually going to copy over the tanzanite block over here i'm going to say this is the jumpy underscore block and then same here this is the jumpy underscore block and then very important here, instead of a new block, we of course want a new jumpy block. Once again, you can make sure that this is the case. If you go into the class, this is white and this is a yellow, then you know absolutely that the jumpy block class has been used as well. Now, just like with any other block, we still need JSON files. So this includes the block states JSON file and all of the others. I will copy those over. Now, those including all of the code and everything will be available to you in the description below. GitHub repository and individual just as well. However, they do not contain anything that we've not seen before. So both the model files as well as the block states JSON file are all normal files that we've seen before in the block tutorial. So nothing should be too surprising over here. Let's also add the texture here. This is, of course, also available for download there we go that should be all that we need in this case and now let's go into the game and see if it works all right we found ourselves back in minecraft and let's see there we go we have the jumpy blocks so let's just set it down and let's just go on to it and let's hope we are getting the jump effect and there we go the jump boost has been applied to us so exactly how you would expect it to we can jump higher than ever before and there we go now we can see, there we go, the jump boost over here. And the crazy thing is that if we now right click it, what you would expect to happen is of course to output it, you know, into the actual chat. And you can see, yeah, it does output it, but it outputs it four times. Now, what craziness is going on over here? Well, let's go back to IntelliJ and let's see. Now the unuse method is actually called four times. It is called twice on the server and twice on the client. So it's going to be called on the server and that is going to be once for the main hand and once for the off hand. And then it's also going to be called twice on the 
client and that is once for the main hand and once for the offhand. So this is what you need to keep in mind. I highly recommend playing around with this a little bit and just making some if statements, sending some different messages depending on where you are, whether or not whether or not you're on the server or on the client. We've actually seen how to do this in the 8-ball over here, so there should be no issues whatsoever in implementing this. If you are stuck with this, I highly recommend the Java series as well, because that can only help you. It should just literally be a couple of if statements. So this is actually very basic Java in this case to try this out. Highly recommend the Java series then, if that might be something that's too complicated for you, no worries at all. Right, but that will conclude this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So yeah.